this was actually uh, came out today from Breitbart talking about the Biden administration forces K through 12 gender ideology compliance with lunch money threat. And so you you see a lot of this narrative and it's typically whatever the right is against the left will utilize and weaponize to make the right subservient. And the primary problem that is going on within the country is welfare, the expansion of welfare, which typically as a result of the expansion of government. And so the article goes on to say the Biden administration has tethered federal school lunch funding to compliance with gender identity ideology, including whether a school allows boys to use girls restrooms and locker rooms. And so Rand Paul had put up a good it was a good video from a very long time ago. This is probably from maybe the 70s, I would say. And it talks about inflation and who's responsible for the inflation. Is the government responsible for the inflation or is it the people? And I want you to take a listen now. This is important words from Milton Friedman on inflation for today. Right? Thoughts for Thursdays. And you can and give a listen here. Until the American people have the political will to stop it. That's going to continue. Now give us the will. Tell us how we get that. Will. There's only one way you can stop inflation, and that's by having the government create less money and spend less money. And the reason we have inflation is because the public at large wants inflation. And that's a very good point that he makes, that the problem is not the government. Government is just a reflection of the people. And the reason why you see a lot of what you see today is primarily because of the people. Uh, the people have become greedy and the people have become immoral. I forget who it was. I forget if it was John Adams um, who had said that when looking back at the Constitution, that the Constitution was designed for a moral people. And that once that went away, then the Constitution would no longer serve those people because it took a very moral people to be compliant. When you look at all of the, the amendments to the Constitution about and a lot of it revolves around responsibility, personal responsibility, the right to free speech. But you, obviously, you have to keep in mind what is advantageous, like the Apostle Paul said. Though it's lawful, it doesn't mean it's advantageous. When he, Of course, he was talking about, you know, some people have a shortcoming when it came to eating certain types of meat. And then he said, well, if eating meat, you know, stumbles my brother, then I'll never eat meat again. Now, he was in the right. He had the right to eat meat but he recognized that if what he was going to do was going to scar the conscience of another individual well then he said well maybe it was better off not going down that road altogether and so the the original government that that governed the people was primarily for and designed for a righteous group of people and uh friedman goes on to say you people want inflation you don't say so. No one of you will say, I want inflation. But I ask you, do you want the prices at which you sell things to go down? Not the prices at which you sell them. You want the prices at which you buy them to go down. What everybody wants is for the prices of the things he buys to go down and the prices of the things he sells to go up. But that's a neat trick if you can manage it. But isn't it? And this is why I've always stated that the primary problem in America is the expansion of welfare. That's why, you know, I've talked about, you know, when you look at, and this is in 2019, prior to the pandemic, prior to all of the crazy money printing that the government did, over 75% of everything that the government spent was on welfare. And it's even more after the pandemic. And the primary problem is everybody is, problem is selfishness and the continued expansion of welfare. Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to produce anything. And so everything is viewed as a right right healthcare is a right housing is a right education is a right and what they basically mean by that is that somebody else who's not me is responsible for paying for whatever it is that i want i want child care child care is a right retirement is a right even though this is all new retirement nobody retired uh, prior to the introduction of social security and social security was asked by the people as basically as a safety net and then it became basically the only thing that 
people ever saved. And that was the problem is that once you introduce these things, uh, the people end up becoming dependent upon them. And so, so instead of saying, and so instead of saying, well, I have this and now I can continue to make on people will say, well, I, I'll, I'll try to live off of this. And they just continue to try to expand whatever the welfare that they get, whether it's housing credit, whether it's child tax credit, et cetera, right? Whatever it is that people get that's free. And I've seen this being here in North Dakota and just watching uh, Native Americans, and you see Native Americans, it's not just Native Americans, but when you look at the Native American population, completely a defeated people. You see the same thing with Black Americans. Black Americans, Black Americans, completely a defeated people. And the primary problem is welfare. And the biggest recipients of welfare that you might think are the poor, but it's actually the middle class. And there's numerous articles, and I've talked about this uh, on numerous videos, that the middle class is the biggest beneficiary of welfare they're obviously a very large a very large group and they continue to vote for the expansion of welfare i believe it was something in the area of 30 percent of all income for the middle class comes from welfare and friedman goes on to state isn't it good old adam smith isn't that what he of course is? it's good old adam smith provided you have a control in terms of the total amount of money available but it's not good old adam smith for those printing presses to be pouring out paper money oh, okay. which uh, which you and I and the government in particular can use we don't we don't create inflation by our personal behavior we create inflation by getting our legislators the people in Washington to vote for more and more spending and by objecting to extra taxes and therefore by having it financed by printing money and that's ex and what he said is 100% completely correct people sit here and say you know the government doesn't do anything for us and they look at money that goes off to ukraine and they're like oh that money could have you know that money could have gone to us right it could have funded another welfare program and this is the primary promise how americans always view any sort of spending by the government if the government expanded and when you look at what's going on in ukraine it's primarily for the expansion so that the government has control of resources and ukraine is a is a large exporter of natural resources that America benefits from. And so, but most people don't look at it that way, even though they'll say, oh, we know what's going on is wrong. They're starting a proxy war. But this is at the bequest of the American people, because how else are you going to feed all of these people who don't want to work? You have all of these jobs that are opened up and people don't people don't want to fill them and they, of course the narrative is inflation but it's inflation that's created by the people because the people didn't want to go to work during the greatest pandemic of you know in the past hundred years the people didn't want to go to work the people didn't want to pay their rent the people didn't want to pay their student loans and now you have people asking for student loan forgiveness so where do we go from there it's the primary problem overwhelmingly the problem is the people and so when you see Stuff like this, when I look at stuff like this, this is just a dog whistle. How immoral are the people that they'll sacrifice their children for a stimulus check for more welfare? If you want this welfare, well, then you got to do this. And this is just, I just look at this as basically like shit tests for the American people. When a woman looks at you and she doesn't have respect for you, she will shit test you. She'll do things to test your masculinity. And if you fail, she'll continue to shit test you till she completely lose loses all respect for you and this is what people in positions of authority just like bullies bullies will keep fucking with you until you punch them in the mouth and then they realize okay he's not as weak as i thought and this little thing twice about messing with you and this is what the government does government does the very same thing because they don't have any respect for the people they recognize that the people will put push for them to be in positions of authority and so they kind of give the people what they want but then every once in a while you'll see stuff like this this is why when you look at for example um, in places like California, where they had made it so that spreading HIV is wasn't a crime. It was like in L.A. And what, what, well, well, where do many of these individuals who are homosexual congregate? They congregate in places like California in San Francisco or in places like in, uh, in New York, right? Places like in New York, if you're looking at like Hell's Kitchen. So it's natural that these individuals will obviously, because they're the primarily culprits who spread most STDs, I did a video talking about this, especially when it comes to HIV, is primarily spread by gay men. And so obviously, if you're a part of the gay community, well, then you're not going to want the stigma for being responsible for spreading HIV and syphilis and many of these other diseases. Just like what you see with the whole body positivity, right? When your country is 80% overweight and 40% obese, well, then obviously you're not going to want the stigma of being overweight and everything else 
that comes with obesity, the heart attacks, the diabetes, etc. Right? And so you talk about being healthy at any weight. This is, and this is primarily the problem. The primary problem, overwhelmingly, is the people. And this is why if the politicians or if the global government is going to try to gain control of the people, they have to take your rights away. And obviously, they have to take your guns away. And that's the whole point. The whole point of taking your guns away is because the people are out of control. And so these individuals in positions of power and authority that are given to them, they're given these positions by the people to do the will of the people. And so they recognize themselves that we can't keep going in this direction. It's not sustainable. The whole, the whole world will collapse. And so that's why you see the desire for more power. It's not because they desire more power. At least not all of them. But I think many of them recognize the situation that the West is in and that the West is dying if they don't do something. And the West is not producing any children. I mean, globally, many countries are not producing any children because a lot of this stuff is, in essence, managed by welfare. That's why you look at people who live like in the country and they run farms. They typically live a much more patriarchal lifestyle because they require children to basically give them free labor. Whereas if you're a woman living in a place like New York, you don't have to worry about having children and having a husband because everything is in essence, you know, micromanaged for you as a result of the continued expansion of welfare. This is overwhelmingly the problem going on within America is that you have a continued expansion of government, which typically gets voted by women. And this will not change. The only way that this will change is you'll, like I have said numerous times, either the country will go into complete tyranny and your way of life that you've known it will completely change or the country will collapse and then you will see the return to patriarchy. But those are the only two scenarios. There is no riding of the ship. There's no way to turn this, you know, this country into a different direction because the people will always vote for more welfare. It's just like, I, I believe it was, um, oh, I forget the person who had said it, but they had made the comment that once the people recognize that they can, I think, I think it was Thomas Jefferson, that once the people realize that they can vote for money that they will and that that was basically the end of the republic and this is basically what is was what, what people are witnessing is there is no republic in america it's democracy and democracy is nothing but rule by mob and that's why you see stuff like this the, the people who are in power in america they want to know where's the mob do we still have the mob and so you see stuff like this and overwhelmingly the people who will back this will be single mothers because the single mothers are Basically, you know, I'm not going to be no slave to no man, but they will happily be ha happily be slaves to the government. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Leave your comment below and I'll check you out next time.